Hello my fellow AI artist do you want to create images like this this and this using xt excel that too for absolutely free for up to 30 minutes then you have come to the right place today i'm going to show you a tutorial on how you can use xt excel with different loras different settings we use it with a refiner and everything that you need to know inside this tutorial so make sure you watch it till the end so let's get started with the tutorial so coming over to how you can run stable diffusion for yourself is just really really simple come over to diffusionhub.io and just log in with your mail so what diffusion hub really is it is a platform where you can run stable diffusion inside automatic 1111 on the cloud without having to worry about any local installations even a new beginner like you can run stable diffusion within two click inside diffusion hub they provide us with blazing fast gpus you don't have to rent any gpu you don't even have to worry about any storage while you're creating images or videos and they also have all the preloaded models such as checkpoints loras textual embeddings and many more here you will get 0.5 dollars for absolutely free and you can run stable diffusion for at least 30 minutes so once you log in just click on launch and here you will see two instances on which you can run your stable diffusion so one is a basic plan and and there is a faster plan as well so even with the basic plan you get 25 gb of vram so it's really really fast even with the basic plan and the faster one is obviously you get 40 gb of feed and that's that's really insane so all you have to do is click on the launch button and then you are ready to go so as you can see our instance has started running and this looks really amazing we already have everything pre-downloaded on diffusion hub so we don't really have to about extensions or anything like that even though if you want to still download some few models or loras which are not available we still have a method for that so stay tuned for it so first we'll come here and select uh, stable diffusion excel models which are already available over here so as you can see there is a base model here and even a refiner here we can even see the dream shaper excel model is also available over here so for now i'll just select the base model as a checkpoint and then i'll just write a few prompts and negative prompts and sampling methods and show you the results so as you can see i have put in my positive prompt over here and my negative prompt over here i've selected my sampling method as euler a and sampling steps as 30 and also make sure to make the width and the height as 1024 and by 1024 otherwise you might get a really bad image if you go for a lower resolution because your xt excel base model is trained on these resolutions so let's just click on generate and see what results we get so this is our result and as you can see the result is really really amazing it's almost as close to as having a mid journey output and if you still want to refine this image i have a trick for you inside automatic 11 11 so what you can do is send this image to image to image tab and let it load the settings for you directly this will load the image and every setting will be there also make sure you put the denoising strength between 0.3 and 0.4 if you don't want to lose a lot of details from your input image and just come to your checkpoint and change your checkpoint to refiner so that we get a refined image of our initial image so we'll just wait for the checkpoint to load and then we'll just click on generate so our refiner model is ready and i'll just click on generate and then let's see what results we get so this is our result from the refiner model and as you can see the amount of detailing the eyes it's it's completely perfect and i really love the output i also ran some tests on selecting which is the best sampler method and as you can see from the results i really like the euler a and i think i really like the 2m caris for this type of generation even though sde caris is really good it did not really perform well on this output as you can see euler a is completely different like the previous generation it really works differently from these sampler methods and you can see here the sde caris did perform really well into the part where it gets realistic here are a few more uh, tests that i ran again your euler a gave us an amazing result and also sd caris is really good for sd excel so in general dpm samplers are really good as well as your euler a samplers are really good all you need to do is just test out and play around with these settings and find out which one suits for you so coming back to the part where you can add your own loras if you want to download them on diffusion hub is head over to civit ai and find the lora that you want to install so for now i will select this cyborg sd excel lora once you come on the link just right click on the download button and just copy the link here and go to diffusion hub here you will see a model downloader 
select lora over here and paste your link once this processing is done you will see the preview model over here and just click on start download after it is downloaded just click on reload ui and you will go back to your main automatic 11 11 screen so once you have reloaded your ui you will come back to automatic 11 11 so after your ui has reloaded just make sure your checkpoint is xtxl base just type in your prompts again select the sampling method now to add your downloaded LoRa, what you can do is click on the extra network tab over here. Just come to your LoRa's and type in your LoRa name which is for me is Cyborg. So I will select Cyborg and as you can see it creates a tag over here. So this one represents the amount of weight this tag has and you can increase the weight for having better weight on the LoRa. But I would recommend to be around at 0.8 or just 1 so that it uh, really extracts the features of that LoRa also make sure you use these trigger words provided by the op over here and once you use these trigger words you will get the desired output so i'll just put in my prompt and then we'll see the results so all the necessary settings are ready and i'll just click on generate so this is the result that we get and i'm really really happy with this and if you still want to refine this image you can send this to image to image put the denoising strength a little low and then you can refine this image but i'm really happy with the output and i can just directly save it right here once you are done terminating if you haven't saved your files you still have a way to recover them you can just click on go to my files and this will retrieve all the images that you have previously created so once you click on my files you can see your previously generated images over here even after you have terminated your instance for more tutorials like this make sure to like comment and subscribe and see you next time